So the last part of this chapter, or this section, is uh, non-unit circles. So non-unit circles, our radius is going to be, again, R. You don't want to have a zero radius circle. Kind of boring, there's a radius zero circle. Negative radius circle doesn't make any sense. So our circle has to have a positive radius. It's pretty easy to draw this, draw a circle uh, without a radius one. So if we look at what's going on here, the problem is uh, this is going to be R, not necessarily one. So you can define the six trig functions on non-unit circles. So we'll start with cosine, of course, theta, usual way to measure that. Cosine of theta is gonna be not just x, but x over r. And now when r is one, In blue, I'll write when r is 1, we get x over 1, which is just x. So on the unit circle, uh, cosine is just x. But if you're not on a unit circle, if your radius is not 1, you have to leave it as x over r. And something very similar to have as a sine. It's not just y, but it's now y over r. And you, if r is 1, this is just y, of course. So it's cosine, sine, tangent. Change it still y over x, that doesn't change. And then our three reciprocals, seek is the reciprocal of x over r, which is r over x. Coseek, or cosecant is r over y. And cotangent is x over y. All right, so we got six trig functions, the regular and the reciprocal. And they're just a little bit strange because you have an R that jumps in uh, for cosine, sine, cosine, secant, cosecant. So those four change a little bit. And we're not gonna do too much uh, on non-unit circles. Uh, there'll be some word problems we do later, uh, but we're gonna do one example here. We'll find the exact values just of the three trig functions. Of theta, where four comma negative three is the point on the terminal side. So I can tell right here, the fact that we have a value bigger than one means we no way we're on a unit circle anymore. So what I'm gonna do is go over four to the right and then down three. So it's gonna be a little bit strange, but I'm gonna try to go over four. Now, you know what? Let me not draw the circle yet. Let me just go over four and down three. All right, so there's a point we're working with. Now what I need to do is draw a circle with a center at zero, just like always, except I need to draw it with a proper radius so that when it's drawn, it goes through that point right there. That's not the best circle. It looks something like this. I'm trying to do ink to shape. I'll do my best shot. Oh. oh, not bad. I think I'll let me move this thing. No, I don't want to. Man. I 
just going to select everything, which I don't want to do. Mm. Alright, I'm just going to have to hand draw this. Whew, that's bad. Much easier to draw these things on paper. Alright, this is probably the ugliest circle I've drawn. Did my best to draw a circle. The idea was I need this radius right here, and then we're just spinning that into a circle. Huh. Okay. So if you remember from Precalculus 1 class, circle uh, equation. Here's our circle equation, and this has a radius r center hk. Now, I want to center at the origin, so good news is hk is 0, 0, so this simplifies to x squared plus y squared equals r squared. I don't know what the radius is. I can tell it's definitely not 1. If it was 1, it would be somewhere, the radius would be somewhere right here, and I'd be drawing a tiny little circle like that. So the radius is definitely not 1. However, we do need to figure out what it is. So good news is, I got an x and a y. So I'm going to plug those in. Oops. x squared, we got 4 squared plus negative 3 squared equals r squared. And now make sure you're careful with parentheses. You want to square the value of y. You're not just squaring the uh, 3, you're squaring the negative 3. So 4 squared is 16 plus 3 squared is 9. Your radius is always going to be positive, so I don't need the uh, plus minus right here, and of course square 25 is 5. So r is 5, we have our x, and that's all we need to write down our trig functions. So cosine, you could scroll up, but it's just x over r, sine y over r, tangent y over x. All right, just plugging in x is 4, r is 5. Sine, y is negative 3, phi is our radius, and tangent is y, negative 3 over 4. So there's our three trig values right there. This triangle is pretty famous. It's the 3, 4, 5 triangle. Well, technically this is a negative 3, 4, 5 triangle, but this is a very common right triangle. Uh, they call these Pythagorean triples. So the common ones, 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared. Oh man, I should have memorized this before. There's another nice one. It's got a 12 and a 13, I think. And then what would be left? Ooh. All right, so when in doubt, I'll just write x squared and we'll figure it, we'll solve for x. Uh, x squared. Whoa, equals 13 squared. Wow. I hope I'm right on these numbers. We'll find out real soon. All right, 13 squared, 169. 12 squared, 144. So 169 minus 144. Hopefully that's a nice number. Is that 25 also? It looks like 25. <coughs> Alright, so x is 5, we got 5. 5, 12, 13 is another triple. There are some other triples. Uh, there's one that involves a 24, but uh, when it comes to a test, uh, these are the two uh, that I'm going to use. And when in doubt, you can always look these up on 
Google and start showing you some useful resources. find one of the first that shows up if I could spell I like Wikipedia that's one of my favorite um, sites all the other sites here well, I shouldn't say all of them I don't think I've had this one I've gone there a little bit but definitely I've gone to uh, Wolfram I'll show you that in a little bit uh, but Pythagorean triple on Wikipedia is where we're gonna go you can generally trust the things on Wikipedia Let me zoom in here. Oh, jeez. Anyways, you see our three, four, five right here. It lets me highlight three, four, five, and there's our five, twelve, thirteen. Zoomed in a little too far. There are plenty of other ones, um, but they get dang kind of crazy after that. Um, so we're not going to use any uh, any of the other ones on your test, your quiz, or, or exams. Well, your quizzes are randomized. You, I won't put any of the uh, crazy ones in your uh, midterm or final. All right, lots of class videos. Let's jump back. All right, so there's our Pythagorean triple. 